Hi guys, hi, it's Julie the Creative Chica. So I'm coming to you with a little share, and that is I made two more journals, and this is the, um, uh, what's it called, the um, uh, paper. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my lights. This is the um, tissue paper that I got at the Dollar Tree, and so what I learned is it, you can see right through it pretty much. So what I had to do first was I had to spray paint the book so that you couldn't see any of the background, which was kind of a pain because then you got to use spray paint. You got to wait for it to dry. Excuse me. You got to wait for it to dry, not only to dry, but then it, for it to stop smelling like paint before you work on it. So although I love the tissue paper, I might use it for something different, maybe a card, something like that, or even the bookmark. But I don't think I'll be covering it with tissue paper because you can see the back. Now what I did before was I covered the book with white paper, but then that takes a lot of time too. So let me talk about the book itself. Um, so it's a composition book, as you guys know. And then I put a doily here, and this is a, a little cut apart and um, then I made the uh, rosette with a um, uh, cupcake liner that matched, you know, pretty much matches this. And I cut out a heart and a little jemmy. And then there's some white lace with this pretty little aqua colored ribbon here. And then the back, oh, let me get this one out of the way. And then the back, it doesn't have anything on it. It's just the lace. And then if we go on the inside, I made this beautiful pocket. And this pocket is a die cut that I have. And I glued just around the edges. And then I couldn't find a, a color that I would butterflies like this. So I decided just to use the Mariposa paper. I did make this tassel. Um, with uh, embroidery thread. So I did make the tassel and oh and then so these are um, what do you call it? enamel dots and then there's another uh, die cut here and I believe these came from AliExpress and maybe Wish. I think I have two of them uh, with the butterfly one and then a big um, a big heart that I got from Kathy from Kathy's Favorite Things and yeah so this is just a really pretty book I'm really happy with it I'm happy with all of that and then on the in the back inside um, I got this beautiful picture from the cards that um, Jenny gave me from Jen Jen's Creations so she gave me a bunch of cards and I used this I forgot what it said, let the adventure begin or something, but because it's being given to cancer patients, I didn't really want to put that part in there. But I love the picture. It's got the feathers and the, the blue eggs. This is just really a pretty picture. So I put that in there. So that's number one. And then I love this one. And um, so look at this. Oh, I love this one. So I got this paper. And then, of course, you guys know I like to do these little skinny washies. And some of these some of these were gifted to me and some I bought of course another cut out from the cards that Jenny from Jen Jen's creations gave me this is a Dollar Tree sticker some little flowers I got from um, not paper wishes maybe some of this is paper wishes but the rest of it was little birdie so there's that and then on the inside here is the inside and this is another cut apart, I believe, that Jenny gave me. And I made a pocket. So, something I want to... Oh, and then this says hope. This is a napkin. And it says hope. And that's where I got that. So I made this pocket. And I want to tell you guys, on making the pocket, um, I wasn't planning to share this right now. But since we're here, and um, this is... A good one for Jenny because she was asking me about the corners about the uh, about making it so that the, the so that the pocket was bigger so I figured this out and um, I will show you here in just a second I'm going to show you the back 
here's the back and there's a little sticker that I made and um, it says have only positive expectations and it says hope and there's the back okay so let me show you something let's pretend this is a pocket and I have to get my scoreboard out and I will show you so let's say we're doing a half inch okay and it's a big a big pocket so we're going to score at half an inch on all three sides okay so then that's half an inch there and then we're going to turn it and see well it's a little over so i guess that would be about half an inch well i guess that's over half an inch okay it doesn't matter but what what matters is the way that we're going to what we're going to do with it okay so let's say this is your pocket and you could do one of two things okay so now that you've scored half an inch all the way around and you let you know you, you didn't do the top so you have these three sections and what you want to do and you can you can do a square one or you can round off the corners so here is your corner and you can take, cut off that and then you'll just have a square corner if that's what you want so you can do that you don't need to get fancy if you don't have anything special uh, what I'm going to show you um, I used a corner chopper or um, you could use a paper a paper um, corner rounder if you want oh let me straighten out this little pocket okay so there's your there's your pocket right and what you want to do is really is put your these on the outside so that when you put something in there it'll just it'll just slide in there okay so anyway this is um, what you have here and then what I do is I take my corner rounder and I take the one fourth inch side this is my uh, crocodile corner chomper so you open up these flaps and you have a half inch that on this side takes a bigger bite and then on this one it takes a smaller bite I like to use the the corner and um, the corner one so then you take it and you put it in like a like that and am I doing that no, yeah I'm doing that okay so now what happens is you have that so now you can you can have it rounded okay or square and so how I do it oops I just dropped something anyway so how I do it is I just go like this and um okay so just right here right just up to there because you need to leave that pocket open and then when you glue obviously you glue the outside right and then and that's it and this stays closed and um, you can still slide something in there let me take a piece of paper so this is some paper and then you just slide your stuff in there and it doesn't come out because you've just glued that little rounded edge in that part that was open or you can do the corner squared up like that and then glue that um, just glue that little bit right there and and then glue this and glue this and you will be gluing this to your paper like that but I really like the corner uh, rounder um, which turns out really nice like a little round pocket so I wanted to do that for Jenny because she was really interested in finding out how we, how we could make a pocket now I have to say something though because I felt that for this one I felt that for this book um, it was a little bit too loose like I felt like this was too loose so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do it this way or not it is nice for them to put something in there but for this I kind of felt like it was moving too much so I'm not sure if I want to continue to do that we'll see I might see how that's just falling out you got to push it all the way in anyway so that's that another thing I wanted to talk about um, is my take on these two glues you guys know I bought fabric fusion 
and my <laughs> little glitter tape there, and um, the three in one by Beacon, and I like them both. But I'm gonna have to say that after doing a test, and I'll show you guys, my my test is that the three in one grabs faster, and it stays stronger longer. However, with the fabric fusion, I noticed because I did use. Um, I did use them on these flowers to stay put and they are really down and they did stay put nicely so I don't have to use my glue gun I used the uh, fabric fusion on here so I thought that at least it's good for that kind of stuff I don't know that I um, maybe after 48 hours because I think it tells you here that let dry to two to four hours you need longer than that let me tell you that and so you're not supposed to wash it i believe it says uh, washable after 48 hours yeah that's two days so i would agree with that um this was yesterday and um let me so this one says ff for fabric fusion and this one is the three in one side and i just did like a little line and i don't know if you can see it but there's some, like you can see the glue, the glue seeps down with the fabric fusion. It's kind of wet. So it goes through fabric with the three in one. It is not, it's thicker and not wet. So it doesn't go through fabric. So I did the same amount on both. And so you can see on this side, okay, there's the, there's the wet, wet part and there's nothing on this one. So now let's turn it over. So I wanted to check the, the strength on it and it was actually yesterday right around this time that I put it down. So look how easy you can take this off. I'm not putting any pressure off. Okay, let's see what the three in one did and we'll try. Okay, now I have to pull it more. Okay, you can get it off, but it takes a bit. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's after 24 hours. So I did it again, but I did more glue this time. There's the uh, the one with the goop on it is the wet part is the fabric fusion, I believe. I I'll tell you right now as soon as I take it apart. Yeah, see how quick it opened up? And this one, it took longer. So my review on these two is that this is good if you don't want to use this stuff up for your flowers and you're going to be able to let it dry um oh sorry use the fabric fusion if you want a permanent adhesion to your flowers to your lace flowers ribbon flowers use this because it will stay on but it just takes longer to dry um however if you only want one and you're only gonna pick one, I'd buy that because I saw the price on this one and this was almost just as expensive as this one. This is $6.99. This was also five or six dollars. So maybe a dollar difference between the two, but I'll tell you, I think this one is more worth it. So that is my big opinion. So um, let me know if you guys, what you guys think about this. So since you made it this far, I want to tell you guys something. I am doing really well. I am no longer doing chemo. I am healing and will be on some medication and I wanna celebrate. And I wanna celebrate by doing some kind of a, at least a little, a small giveaway. So this is going to be, this is a hidden giveaway and I'm not going to announce it anywhere other than right here. So, uh, I would like you guys to tell me what your favorite type of embellishment is, whether it be glitter, whether it be rhinestones, ribbons, whatever you guys really like. Now, also, I went on to my account on Facebook and noted, or excuse me, not Facebook, YouTube, noticed that only 10 of my, out of 800 and so many subscribers, only 10 of you have a visible subscriber. I can only see 10 of you. If you guys want to uh, have a chance at this giveaway, I would really like you, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm giving away yet, but I will um, talk about it again. 
and um, once I do, maybe once I do the, the um, like I, I do your names and then I'll pick from that, then I'll show you guys it after you've already won. So it'll be fun. It'll be a fun thing. It won't be huge, but it'll be fun. And um, I just want to do this as a celebration of my new beginning. So if you want to be in this giveaway, please double check your um, please double check your subscription guys make sure you're visible because I'd hate for you guys to lose out just because you weren't visible so that's it for today guys I hope you guys are having a great day and we'll talk to you next video